I will salmon. answer you if you eat your food. Look at that salmon. It's cooked so perfectly. As Gati said, oh, poor mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it took me two hours to finally pick. And this is a blue tennis bracelet. It's not raining. What you doing over there? I thought you were gonna help me. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Morning, you. What is there? That's cream cheese. <laughs> Why is that funny? That's not funny. It's cream cheese. Oh no no no! Scotty boo. That's not nice. We don't throw food. Don't throw food, okay? That's not nice, huh? It's so funny. It's not funny, babe. It's not funny when you throw food. Sayang ang food, love. Okay? Don't do it again, huh? Okay. Don't do it again, okay? Remember what I told you? Everything we buy, we have to pay money. The money we could have used for Dad's monster truck wheels. If you throw food, it's so sayang because we used money to pay for the food. And then if you throw it and then it gets daot, you can't eat it anymore. And then sayang ka, edit. mommy has to buy na food. And then we'll get my money from the monster truck wheel fund. Okay, food. It's not good manners. There are a lot of people who don't have food. A lot of kids who are so hungry. Then kita ato lang gi throw. Sayang ba? No, let's give it to them na lang instead of throwing it. No? And then you, you don't finish pag get your food. Ato na lang i-share. Sayang man. Ilabay naman na ha. I just need to share. Remember, sharing makes other people happy. Ato na here I share only my daughter died mommy. You only share what? My daughter died mommy. Mm -hmm. You have to share because if you share your toys, other people will share their toys with you too. If you share your food, other people will share their food with you too. Remember last night in our storybook, si Omar, itagaan niya ang cupcake. I just share my toy to 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 watch out so that what will be we should buy <laughs> yeah you can you can share your toys with russell but you should also share your food whatever you have that you can spare you should share it also okay mushroom that we bought yesterday in the grocery i'm gonna wash it first My question is to eat salt. Your question is? Eat salt. You want to eat salt? Yeah. How do you ask mommy? Oh! Ooh, egg. Ooh, salmon and sardo.
Shopee. Is Aya your friend? You know what I did to him before you came? This one. <laughs> He's funny, is it that? He's so cute. Okay. It's like hair, ba? Aw, sige, sige. Dili na. Dili na binuangan ang baby. Ang tanga na to, Ahya? No. No? Suku ang siya. No. Why are you saying the bug and pee? Because he wants to look at you and then the milk is gonna spill. Medyo naputol yung breakfast making ko this morning. Because it's so hard to get Scotty to eat breakfast. So, there's this new routine that we take him outside and make him kind of burn off his morning energy so that he'll be hungry enough to eat. So, this has been our morning lately. So, while the little ones are burning their energy, Mama will regain hers with breakfast. Give me a hug! Sheesh! Someone's awake and not giving me a hug. Everyone in this house has to give me a hug in the morning. That's my rule. Excuse me. Where's my hug? What do you want for breakfast? Okay. You should say, I want a hug. So my morning routine is waking up early, making breakfast, feeding the kids, feeding Savi, playing outside, and then finally getting to sit down and enjoy my meal. And Hub's morning routine is pouring coffee. <laughs> morning, guys. And then complete na yung, yung morning niya. He's such a simple guy. Like, he doesn't do breakfast like me. Who's looking for his bike this morning? Go get your bike! I know, he can balance so well. I know, so funny, it was just here all along. Can you put some milk in my coffee, please? From there, I'm going to put it in my phone. Let me drink off to the cup. Okay. Is that mine now? Okay, you can have it. Daddy will share. Wow. But Dad, we have to share our food also to to the the ones who need it. Yeah, he also needs to share. Hi, Shati. Say hi to your daddy. Ba. Ba. Ha. Always happy when you see his daddy. Ha. Ba. Good job, Shati. Oh, how did you play? Where? How am I sure? What happened, Anna Scott? Why man? I to eat chata. I like to eat chata. But you promised mommy that you're gonna eat, huh? You promised me. It's not funny, honey. It's not funny, huh? I like to eat chata. I drink chata. Keep opening. I'm tired, na bayo Scott. You know I make prepare so much for you. Agi ni mo gi eat. Hali hali. Why I cannot eat chata, Mom? I will answer you if you eat your food. Hali hali. Okay, see? It's so delicious. You want to eat jam? Ah, oh, baby! Scotty! Alright, 
Hi guys, Scotty's finally in school. He threw a bit of a tantrum this morning. There were so many times where I had to put on my strict mom mode hat and, you know, stick him in the room and have a talk with him. It was really difficult because I'm really not the type, the disciplinarian, that's more of Slater, but I tried my best to kind of set ground rules also. Now, he can't just be crying for no reason, you know, try to explain to him slowly by slowly that, you know, this is how you should be acting, stuff like that. It was a tough morning um, emotionally for me as well because I'm really not used to confrontation and, you know, super aga pa lang and then bad vibes na. But it's okay, you know, it's part of being a mom, I understand. Sevi's fast asleep, Scotty's finally in school, and now it's mommy's time to finish work. But before we get started on my day, I want to show you quickly our little setup. This is so cool. So I think I showed you this in a previous vlog. Let me just set the camera down so it's easier to talk to you guys. All right, guys, back in my favorite spot in the Skypod. This spot, because we're going to have a little cooking demo right now. So this I showed you in the vlog where Sevi had his first time eating solids. And I've come to love this machine so much because it saves me so much time and energy. Instead of bringing out a cooker, a baby cooker, like every day to prepare all of his meals, like every single time he eats. This one actually saves me time because I can meal prep for Sevi. So this is the Nutri Baby Plus XL version. If you find this too big, which I'm gonna show you later why it can be too big. There's also a Nutri Baby One version, which only has one compartment for steaming, one compartment for blending. There's also a Nutri Baby Plus version, which has two steaming baskets and this blender. And the difference with what I have is there are three steaming baskets. So you can steam three things at once, perfect for the whole family or if you have more than one kid. And then you only need one contraption for steaming everything. Like you can even make this for cooking for the whole family. It doesn't have to be for babies. So what's really nice about this is it's super duper easy to use that even a total noob in the kitchen, I can only prepare baby food and breakfast food. This is super easy to use. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna be doing that today. So we have this plugged in. It's really, really nice because it has so many different functions. It has a steaming function. It has a bottle warming function. It has a food warming function, it has a blend function, it has a sterilized function. So if you guys are traveling, you can bring this. It's all in one now, which is really cool. And this has also a defrost function. But what we're gonna be using today is the steam function and the blend function. So this is how you use this contraption. First, you take out the steaming basket and then you add water here. There's also like a max level here, so you know until when you can add water. They also come with a pamphlet, so you know like how many ml dapat per food that you're cooking but i usually just like to wing it as long as it's not the max but what's cool about this also is it's so easy to use like there was this one time that i used this and cool yung water it'll just beep and then it'll stop so it just tells you that you need to add more water and then there's a light here that comes up this one this teardrop button and it just says like okay cool ka sa water then you just add and then you can continue cooking so it's super duper easy and convenient so we put that here, and we're gonna put the hardest to cook veggies first, which is the cauliflower. This is gonna be Sevi's food tomorrow, so I'm prepping it already today. And then we have carrots, and I'm only adding one serving of carrots because he already ate two days worth of carrots, so today's his last day. And then at the very top, we're gonna cook steamed salmon for Scotty's lunch. So it's so easy because not only am I prepping like one time long for Sevi, but I'm also preparing lunch for Scotty as well. And to be honest, it's not just me who likes this. Yaya loves it also. She has the time to do other things, you know, since Sevi's sleeping, instead of just preparing all the time his meals. Now that Sevi's eating, she needs more time to prep. So this one saves time for the entire family, not just for me, but for Yaya as well. So now that there's water here and all the baskets are installed, it's super duper easy. All I do is press this button, which is the steam button. And then it says 23 minutes, right? Let's say I wanted to cook for 25 minutes because we have a food. Then I just press OK. Once it starts blinking, that means it's good to go. Later, we'll come back to so I can show you that the food is really cooked na super duper fast and all at once. But I really love just leaving it here. It doesn't look kalat in the kitchen because of the color. It's super duper nice. And I can talk to you on and on about this because I've been using this for the past few days. I really, really do love it. Malungay pills. I also take my prenatal vitamins, still the same. Because, you know, when you're breastfeeding, a lot of the times, the baby is actually sucking all the nutrients from mom. So it's nice to replenish that also. That's actually why we have falling hair. Tayo. And this is biotin because I have falling hair now. Um, it's just normal part of being a mom. Usually four or five months, you have falling hair. Mo. And this is calcium, which I need for my bones. Because again, breastfeeding is kind of sucking all the nutrients out of me. And so the reason why we have falling hair, and I just learned this actually, is because... When baby is getting all the nutrients from my body, to, to nurture the baby, to make the baby strong and healthy, um, it's sucking all the nutrients from me and my body thinks that the least important 
is the hair. All the nutrients can be distri distributed to all my organs and stuff. But the least important is the hair, which is why your hair falls off and sheds. Isn't that so cool? I just found that out recently. And so what we can do is apply products that, you know, help make it stronger and also drink our vitamins. That's what I'm doing now. So guys, look at this. We're 21 minutes left in. And you can see that it's steam na sa cauliflower. So the trick here is actually to put the food that cooks the longest at the bottom. And then the one that cooks the fastest dito sa taas. Okay guys, nag beep na siya. Let me show you. It says zero here. So let me just check up top if na steam na yung salmon. Ooh, it's cooked so perfectly. I love it. We're just gonna take this off. And then, there's a magic part here that I wanna show you. And it smells so good. I'm gonna show you that there's liquid here inside that you don't throw away because this has all the yummy juice that I can mix with the blender. Yes, you're done. I understand. Okay, done ka na. And then, you can put it here and blend it with, let's say, the cauliflower. And then, that will make the cauliflower blend faster and it will also make it yummier because all of the essence is there already. Let's blend the carrots first because that's what Sevi's gonna be eating today. This blender is also detachable, so it's very space-saving. I'm going to put my carrots inside. It also has this spatula that comes with it. You can put it here, so it's really cool and convenient. Disha heat up to store the items. I'm gonna add this liquid. You can also add breast milk if you're preparing for kids, but me, since I'm saving my breast milk, I like to add this instead. Cover it up. And what's nice about this is when you blend it, there's a cover here, so hindi tatal sick here in this part, yung carrot. We are going to press the blend button here. Hi. Hindi siya blend if there's something wrong, so I think I did something wrong here. Yeah, hindi siya na lock into place. That's why it wouldn't blend. So everything's really safe, right? It's not gonna blend if it's not ready to blend. And then... <laughs> so after I clean this up and transfer this, I can also blend this. And then this is how I store it, guys. I'll show you. Look at that salmon. It's cooked so perfectly. So if you want that also, you can puree that also. Did you know that you could puree meats too? And here's the little boy! Hi, honey. Hi. It's so hot. Okay, we're gonna transfer it here. Glass containers. Let me just store it in the rack. It's so easy. See? Oh, I'm excited to eat my baby. We're gonna add cauliflower. Okay. Excited na kamu eat ani cauliflower. to sleep it's okay you can sleep mommy will hold you i remember when you were a little boy ahia you were just a few weeks old and you would sleep on me in this chair and mommy will say i don't want to move because ahia will wake up scotty might wake up i'm actually going to insert a clip of that right here i think it's one of my first few vlogs on the channel featuring scotty boo i still love it when he's Hugging me when he's so sweet to me. That's my little update for this little guy. His his IQ is so high. You all know that. But also his EQ is so high. Like last night, um, we were reading a book about being scared and being sad. And I could see in his eyes while I was reading the book na when I was talking about being scared, parang na scared din siya. Like he felt what the book was trying to express. And when I was talking about sadness, na sad din siya. Which is why... I decided to end with a book about being happy. <laughs> Look at Mr. Independent over there. <laughs> I ended with a book about being happy so he would feel happy. Para hindi mabigat yung emotions niya. Kasi nahahawa talaga siya sa emotions of the people around him. That's how high his EQ is. That's why he always says like, Mommy, don't cry. He's sad if I cry. He's sad if I'm sad. And so last night as I was reading him a story, like, oh, this little boy feels sad because, you know, his pet passed away. 
and then he went to his mom and his mom gave him a hug so he he looked at me in the eyes and then he hugged me and then he said i love you that's something that i'm so happy that he does it really makes my heart melt like kahit gano ako busy in the day it always makes me realize and be thankful for for the life that i have because <laughs> i have a snoring baby on top of me <laughs> and he always just comes up to me randomly and says i love you and i even told later na grabe love yun lang yung moment lang yun na alone it already makes everything so worthwhile which is amazing right so then later we'll joke ano one more one more baby kasi worth it diba lahat ng paghihirap mo worth it but honestly like akala ko sana we'll have a baby girl kasi feeling ko mas lambing yung baby girl pero this boy is so lambing and so special the only thing i don't like about baby boys hindi naman na sa don't like but I guess it would also nice be nice to experience a baby girl because all moms that have experienced both they really say na grabe if you have a baby girl it's you realize it's so easy para to have kids you want to have more because baby boys are so hard to take care of grabe they're they're little buckets of energy non-stop energy means and later and I look at each other and say where does he get his energy hindi siya kumakain pero nandoon pa rin eh like the whole day 24/7 yung energy niya I can't wait for Shotty to experience that same thing but also I'm also enjoying na chill pa siya as of now what's nice about Sevi is he's so independent he he understands I feel that this one is the clingier one so this one really grabs our attention I try to spend as much time as I can with Sevi um, and sometimes mom guilt eats me up inside because I realize na how can I be with Sevi when this one is like this and he's always crying mommy only mommy only Si Sevi kasi okay lang siya with anyone. So, a lot of the times, like, he's the one I have to pass on to Yaya and I can't spend as much time with him. Um, but this one is the one that remembers and this one is the one that really craves for the attention. So, I have to give him the attention. That's also an advice of, of moms with older kids na while the younger one doesn't really remember, spend time with the older one para hindi sila mag... So... Sometimes mom guilt eats me up inside and makes me feel na shocks I'm not spending as much time with Sevi as I did with Scotty but then I also realize na pandemic kasi yun when Scotty was this old you know like we didn't have work he was our only baby and I have to accept that it's really like that like with the second kid the third the fourth not saying that I'm going to have a third or fourth but with the kids that are further along you'll really spend less time with them um because your your attention is divided and that's just life I'm here mommy's here Mommy's here, love. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Mommy's here. You want to sleep? Mommy will hold you. You want to play? Okay, we can play. We can play. I want to pool. You want to pool? I want to pool. You went to school, that's right. You went to school. I finally have time with this little one. Hmm? Hi, my baby love, my good boy. What's my little Sevi update, Sev? I learned he's allergic to shrimp. Why Sevi? Oh, let's sit down. Yeah. He's allergic to shrimp because every time I eat shrimp, he gets little red marks on his face. Yeah. He still sleeps 11 to 12 hours every night. Right, Sevi? He still breastfeeds every three to four hours. And eats food. That's why he's getting rounder and rounder and rounder, right? And na sad. Na sad ni mua. He's getting more and more handsome by the day. Oh, see? That's what I mean. Every time I'm with Sevi, na, this other one asks for attention. Dessert is for after eating. I'll wait for you to finish eating, Ahya. Then I'll open it for you. Yeah, I'll feed it to you. Good night, Shotty. What what inside? What what inside? That's what I mean. Every time I'm doing something, Scotty always calls me. Stop working, mom. Take a break, mom. Play with me, mom. <laughs> Feed mom, me, mom. And 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 mom said I'm working, pa. I'm working, pa. <laughs> oh, pa, 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 pa. What did you say, Gani? Gani na? Ano to yung gingon niya? What what happened? Ah, <laughs> yeah, I said. I said, then awa wala ko kafine siya kung coffee. Kay si Scotty ni hilak this morning and then Scotty said, "Oh, poor mommy." Kaya <laughs> ba ka nang poor mommy ha? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what what happened? I said, "I love you so much." 
Yo love you so much. I squeeze you. I squeeze. I squeeze the butter. Squeeze. <laughs> you guys know what I realized? I haven't actually spent time in this portion of my house in years. Like, we don't make tambay here anymore. I think the last time was when Scotty was an itty bitty baby and most of my vlogs would be from here because I would breastfeed from here. But now, the house is a mess. It's overtaken by my children. There's not enough times in the day where I just sit still and not pressure myself to either work or provide for my children emotionally, financially, physically. It's nice to have both kids asleep and have a little bit of time for myself. And I decided today that because I... I'm a good mother, I will claim it. You know, sometimes we always tell ourselves, we need to do more, we need to do more. It's rare that we tell ourselves, you know what, you're a good businessman, or you're a good mother, or you're a good athlete. You know, sometimes we need to pat ourselves on the back for a job well done. So I'm stressed this morning actually because Scotty's tantrum was really, it's really something. I deserve to take a break. I deserve to not work this afternoon and to reward myself because timing i'm actually going to royal gem to pick up friendship bracelets my friends and i here in cebu purchased it's so cute we are gonna put it on our wrist together it's blue and green gemstones that are like a tennis bracelet pair of gemstones lang siya. when we go out we're gonna be matchy matchy friendship bracelets i love things like that and this might be justifying because i'm gonna be making a purchase but it's rare for us to treat ourselves and i feel like sometimes it just takes someone to tell you that you deserve it you know sometimes that's hubs but today i feel like I need to tell myself I deserve this. Because I'm already going to Royal Gem later, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna pick up something nice for myself. That's my new thing that I'm so into. Not na designer shoes or designer bags. More into things that actually can be turned into investments. I feel like it's smarter to buy jewelry pieces because over time they increase in value and you can pass them on to your kids. Sure, you can pass on bags to your kids as well, but feeling ko, kasi they depreciate in value because, remember my wear and tear, my ganon. Filico jewelry is just such a, a smaller investment. It also takes up less space, you know, and it's also a little bit more unassuming because sometimes people think, oh, fancy lang siya, which is why I didn't put earrings today, just these two, the big hole. I feel like I'm gonna pick up earrings today to reward myself. You guys always hear on the podcast how Slater enjoys spending his money on life's little luxuries like shooting or whatever he's into, tech, gadgets, ganyan. Pero me, I'm so kuripot shipping fee nga, nasasaktan na ako. And usually Slater tells me like, the only thing you buy is, is grocery. So, today we're gonna change that. Thank you, Hubs, for giving me the opportunity to shop and for not making me feel bad about it. He said, you know what? You work hard, it's your money. Why don't you go ahead and shop? And so, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, guys, we are here at the mall. I don't know if I should still feel uncomfortable wearing a mask or not. Slater's comfortable already not wearing a mask, but mommy still isn't. So, first agenda. I'm going to return this. We bought it from Healthy Options. But it's like it's sira. Siya. Daddy and I are playing monster truck. He can sit down by himself and play. Whoa, monster truck. Oh no, oh no, he fell. Okay guys, Scotty is finally asleep, Sevi is finally asleep, and husband is outside, away from me, where I can unbox in peace. <laughs> so I finally have time to do my little royal gem haul. It took me two hours to finally pick what's in front of you here today, and Shemper, I want to share it also. The owner of royal gem is actually a friend, so I'm just taking this now to kind of fully decide what I want to get. I'm not sure yet exactly what I want to get. 
but I'm sure that once I decide, you'll see it all the time on my posts and on my vlog. So first is something that I already showed you earlier. It is these two, this one, the green tennis bracelet. So this is an emerald and this is a blue tennis bracelet. This is sapphire. And I got this with my good friends, Nicole and Angel. So this is our little friendship bracelet. And they also have a Cartier love bracelet. So, and they also have a tennis. So it's really nice to match it together and we're all matchy matchy. Mm, what do I show you first? Okay, this one. This is so cute, guys. Well, let me just silence my phone because I need to haul in peace, you know, and enjoy my purchases. So this is so cute. I purposely went to Royal Gem without wearing any earrings here on the first hole because I knew that I'm such an earrings girl and earrings talaga ang hahanapin ko. True enough, lahat ng mga nabibili ko ay earrings. So ito yung first. I think I was able to show you guys this in the store kasi umabot na sa point na parang, okay guys, serious na to. I really need to focus so I can finish. Look how cute that is. It's a little heart emerald. I don't think I have any emeralds yet. So this is my first emerald piece. And it's super simple lang. It's actually part of a set, but I only got the earrings. And it's so cute to just layer and wear every day. Look, even with just a plain black shirt, parang ang laki na ng dagdag niya na aura, you know? Like gemstone lang siya, so it's not as expensive as a real diamond. But it's so beautiful. I love it. The next one naman that I got is this one. And and dami talagang gemstones ng Royal Gem. The kind of gemstones that aren't very tita. So I really like it. Like nakakabagets. Like this one is so small. And it's only one piece. Like it doesn't come in a set of two. So I'm planning to wear it here in my second hole. There. It's so cute. Parang gana lang siya. Siyempre, investment yung mga pieces na to. So kailangan take our time. Enjoy natin. Ayan. There. Doesn't that look so cute, guys? Just imagine without this. It's so cute. Heart lang siya. Diba? Very understated, but parang wow pa rin. Okay, next up, we have this one na binudol ako ni Jerlea of Royal Gem. She kept saying, Ma'am, ang ganda talaga tingnan on you. I really like how you look when you're wearing this. You can wear it as a stud. You can wear it as, you know, pang event. <sighs> Nabudol ako. So, sabi niya, Ma'am, take it home na lang. Ito mag-usap na lang kayo ni Ma'am Meryl if you're gonna keep it later or not. I'm like, this girl is really tempting me, no? Ang galing niya mag magbenta. Look at that. It's so cute. You can attach this at the back, which is the same as the flower, but a little bigger. So now, it's like a dangling thing. What do you think? Very dainty but in. You know, I don't really talk about jewelry and I don't really show my jewelry collection here on the vlog. Because Shemper, I feel like it's a bit private. Like, I just don't want to share everything um, on the channel. But I have been getting into jewelry lately and I really feel like it is such a good investment if you guys want to look for, you know, things to invest in or, or luxury items to start investing in. It took me a while to get used to it. I remember when my mom would give me gifts like, okay, on my 18th birthday, she'll give me this jewelry set or on my this birthday, she'll give me that. And then when I was still young, parang, ah, uh, sayang lang, my mom thinks this is so valuable, but it's just not me, hindi ko siya type or hindi ko siya masusuot. But now that I'm a little bit older, like all of these things that my mom gave me, I'm like, oh my god, they're so nice. And I can really use it and I can also pass it on to my kids. It's not like a and then the value just increases over time. So I would highly recommend um, if you want to start investing in jewelry, go for it. Okay, and the last one here on my list that I think I will definitely get is this one. It's so pretty. There. I can't decide which ones I'm going to keep, guys. Because they're all so nice. Maybe you can leave a comment down below. Pero by the time you watch this video, parang na return ko na yata yung mga items na hindi ko gusto. Well, gusto ko naman talaga lahat. Pero the question is, gusto ba ng wallet ko? <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. So there it is, guys. That is my little royal gem haul. Oh my gosh. Sa sobrang excited ko. Nakapag vlog pa ako ng. 9 p.m., which is so crazy for me because usually I end the vlog super early. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be, but I'm really, really happy that I was able to share a slice of my life with you guys. Now, Slater and I were having dinner. I told him, you know what, Scotty said he didn't miss me this afternoon, he missed you. And my first reaction was, Buti na lang he doesn't miss me so I can go ahead and do my work. And he was like, wow, you've changed. You, you're okay not to leave them, you're okay not to work. And I'm like, yes. I've come full circle. I've accepted that, you know, we can't always be um, 
with our kids and it's healthier for them if we are our own best versions of ourselves. And that includes making yourself happy with certain pieces. <laughs> justification but yeah again um, i'm so so happy to share this moment with you guys and i hope i will see you guys in the next one bye appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed i can feel it coming in golden